Hello students, today we are going to learn how to kick an AFL ball correctly. There are three main steps when kicking the ball. The first point is the grip. The ball should be held straight up and down, with hands evenly spread on either side of the ball. The second point is the ball drop. The ball should be guided down with the same hand as the kicking foot. The ball needs to be kept straight and dropped as close to the foot as possible to ensure an accurate kick. The third point is the follow through. The ball should make contact with the boot laces. The leg should fully extend and the toes should point towards your target. Now we've learnt the three main points of kicking an AFL football. Let's have a look at a few examples. Firstly, we will be looking at an incorrect kick. See if you can notice what the kicker is doing incorrectly on this occasion. I'll show you that one more time. You may need to pause the video if you want to have another look. We can see here that the kicker does not correctly follow through with the leg. He does not fully extend the leg, instead he stabs at it. He also does not point toes correctly. This will result in an inaccurate kick. We will now look at a correct kick and what should be done. See if you can pinpoint what the kicker does correctly in this video compared to the previous. Notice that the ball has been guided down with one hand and has been dropped in a perfect vertical position. This will help result in good connection with the boot. Also notice the leg has been fully extended after connection with the ball. This will result in maximum power. Also, the kicker has pointed his toes directly towards the target. This will result in a very accurate kick. Now that you know the three main points of kicking an AFL ball and understand the difference between a correct and incorrect kick, you can go and start practicing by yourself. Thank you.